Hey guys, nothingwire.com and today we have Zolo's latest Zolo Q1200. Now this is a metal finish phone so the USB of this is mainly the construction quality and the design and it also um, extensively supports your gesture and a voice control and you can see that's a quad core uh, processor phone as well so uh, first the box it's a pretty big box like all the Zolo uh, packets are there um, you know they're pretty hefty but also very very strong you can see very hard cardboard box here so we have the white color and then here you'd see some marketing and import information you can see uh, Zolo Q1200 the content of the box uh, was released in May 2014 imported basically released a little after that and then um, all India the MRP is 15499 but you'd get it for about 1207 uh, 12700 on Amazon.in uh, behind you have some quick specs here 1.3 gig quad core MediaTek MT658 2 processor 500 megahertz then Mali 400 GPU you have a 5 um, inch HD display 1280 by 720 pixels 294 ppi that is support, um, protected by Corning Gorilla Glass you have an 8 MP autofocus rear camera with the XMOR R sensor that's made by Sony and then 2 MP front camera records a full HD you have all this connection and 1 GB RAM 8 GB internal memory it supports micro SD card USB OTG support solo secure and power their in-house apps Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean but this guy uh, is promised to be upgradable to 4.4 KitKat 2000 mAh lithium polymer battery so without further ado let's go ahead and check out what's in the box so first you would see the device it's a beautiful device not totally metal finished but then metal and then a bit of plastic will come into the device just in a bit we'll see what else in the box you have this pin to open the sim tray and then you also get a cover here flip cover basically and then you also get a screen guard and then very nicely packed are the warranty the quick start guide and then you have your micro USB 2.0 data cable round pin adapter now we're gonna see how many empire this is there's a USB round pin wall adapter come off please and this guy is 0.15 ampere only and then you have a USB OTG adapter here on this side you would have the earphones See? premium quality earphones you have your mic and everything but no volume control you have the call control button right here also you have two pairs of extra earbuds so those are all the content in the box we are more than satisfied the box content mainly the USB OTG adapter yet yeah, it's, it's it's very very cheap but still it's good to have them come with the box also extra pair of ear but you also like the design here yeah. however the construction is uh, it feels plastic you know in flat wire so uh, it won't entangle much now then the Zolo Q1200 and it's a fairly beautiful phone first thing you feel this it's it's quite heavy uh, being a metal mostly so you have this metal part here I think it's an aluminium alloy so very nice matte finish and then you have uh, kind of high quality polycarbonate here is this polycarbonate or metal I guess I guess it's polycarbonate and then a nice finish on the sides here is a silver color ring uh, very glossy front so you have that 5 inch HD screen here protected by Gorilla Glass 3 you have your 2MP front camera notification LED lights and your sensors earpiece and then um, the shortcut keys menu home and the back button uh, volume rocker power button micro SD 2.0 port mouthpiece sim tray as well as micro SD card and then 3.5 jack 8 MP autofocus camera, dual LED flash for better skin tone and a white balance. Then um, a speaker grill, a solo 
branding there another speaker here cool so overall uh, this guy is about 7 mm thin so that's okay but it feels quite heavy now um, we do not know the weight exactly that's not a mention on the official site not on the box but I guess should be close to about 170 175 gram it hides the 2000 mAh battery it's not dual sim it's, it's it supports single sim only but overall we absolutely like the design and mainly the build quality of the Zolo Q12000 it's a metal phone and it's it's quite rugged and it's gonna uh, survive a number of unintentional fall from a uh, respectable height basically now let's go ahead and check out the display once now HD display 5 inch display well decent but nothing mind blowing if you see very closely these icons you would see that they slightly pixelate um, although you actually practically won't be looking at them from that close uh, distance um, still as, as something to take note of now we have our color card here and I can see that it does not oversaturate the colors much maybe slightly on the very very slightly on the red side but that we've seen with almost all of phones but mostly the saturation and hue are quite natural and you can go and see some pictures you see the detail level is pretty much there and if I see the viewing angles they are amazing as well yeah very good as you can almost go 180 degree and still can see what's in there of course you cannot read the text out there and that's the gesture motion in action okay. even if you zoom in you can see all the details so a fairly good display so the Q1200 is powered by Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean right now and you have a slight um, customized, customized skin from Zolo on top now Zolo has promised Android KitKat here shortly but we don't have any official dates here that's the unlock screen and yes you see a pretty cool uh, watch you can see all the second part you know getting colored here we like this the notification bar pretty usual and then a quick function toggle bar and you can long press and see your recent app days no option of closing all the apps are together you'll have to close them one by one you yeah, see long press here nothing happened just press and you would see all these um, settings and all the information long press and press nothing happened single and it had a pretty good launcher you can also change the theme and launcher and all those stuff you see so there's no app dock per se there's no menu all the apps like your iPhones are on the home screen itself you have a pretty cool camera widget I don't know if this was taken from I mean the queue was taken from um, Oppo however we like good things taken from others anyway it could be Zolo original as well I don't know which which one actually brought this one in first but nonetheless we like this camera widget it's pretty convenient you don't have to go to the main camera app but you can see it takes a lot of time to click photos mainly because um, it's glass inside let's see if we can uh, drag this pen drive switch between front and back camera right from there yeah you have a pretty big dialer here let's go ahead and check out the messages as well you see almost stock Android keyboard there I can go here and the keyboard becomes much bigger and then we'll go and check out the settings first you have the usual connection settings here no NFC there your theme you have many themes really so we are on the default theme and then wallpaper schedule task and you can add this many accounts you can go here and apps and this is smart way you can smart light and also there are some of the gestures and 
motion thing so slide up push on log draw c to wake the whatever m for music non-touch operations there see and also float multitask window it's this one oops where is it i think i'm disabled it so i'm just go ahead and enable that and then we'll see there you go so once you minimize it you will see that's pretty convenient you can also sort them accordingly and then you have battery and storage so out of 8 gb storage i have about 1.9 gb available but you'll get a lot more because we have all our test games installed here that's why the um, the storage is quite less but you'd get about 5 gb of free storage about phone 4.2.2 q 1200 now let's go ahead and check out some of the apps for example first we'll check out the camera nothing special really it takes a long time to start that's your flash LED. you see toggle the flash there it's actually pretty fast but not exactly leg free so you have some of those you know color modes basically and then some other settings professional mode and all so once you go to professional you get your 3d mode and full screen see so more than white balance and some advanced settings you can also guide it by a voice and that's how you change to front camera that's how you change to the video you can start recording video from your you cannot take still while recording video uh, so pretty usual camera ui the images and video quality under enough flight are pretty good the details are decent but not exactly spectacular under low light however you see a lot of noise The browser renders the desktop sites pretty good but then it lags a bit so whenever you're scrolling uh, it renders the data slightly slower and, and, and it finds it a difficulty rendering uh, the jQueries and iframes of which are very advanced elements but overall it's pretty good you can see all these um, things are rendered pretty nicely and correctly all the stickers and all good that's how you go to a new tab and you can see we tested html5 scores uh, below average really 401 out of 555 you have file manager you have the gallery uh, typical android setup all albums arranged in stack you can go to a photo you can go to edit and share and all those are pretty usual i'm not gonna go too deep into it now we'll go ahead and check music and the video now where is my music there you go so we have So pretty flat output, not even loud enough. The travel is quite okay though, but absolutely no bass. So overall pretty flat sound output really. Now we'll check out the movie playback and see how it sounds and looks. So we have our full HD movie sample here. Now let's go and try playing here. Legs a bit. Again the same thing, devoid of bass and not loud enough also. Perfect sync between video and audio. So good rendition, however the sound output is just about average. Slightly below average actually. And you have some other apps like Sound Recorder, Torch and Navigation and your file manager and email lots of things you have solo secure solo care solo power 
those are this three as particular are in-house and they're very very strong and we should definitely use them Zolo care is uh, if something happens to phone and all you know you can directly um, contact Zolo's customer care from here they have all the contact information and the stuff Zolo secure is more like a security software kind of cleans your device and all these things and Zolo power is a battery management app which uh, really really um, is effective so apart from that you can see some of the other apps so some of the apps we have installed Dropbox, Fruit Ninja, Asphalt 8 and Nova 3 all others come preloaded here so does the Zolo Q1200 supports USB OTG of course uh, the specification says you also get uh, this adapter micro USB 2.0 to USB 2.0 port adapter so obviously it's supposed to uh, support USB OTG feature but um, we're gonna test that so I have this 4 GB pen drive out here and that's the micro USB 2.0 and so I'm gonna just insert it to my Q1200 and we'll see straight away it shows my file manager and there I have all these things in the phone storage and external USB storage there you see so I haven't inserted a micro SD card so we have only two things here so it recognizes the USB OTG pretty fast so you should re never remove external storage like that anyway however it does not exactly support a high power USB uh, OTG drive for example we have this SanDisk 64 GB drive and when I insert this it's working perfectly fine mind you but when I insert it uh, we'll wait for some time for a dialogue and it says abnormal external USB storage so probably the phone does not support such a large capacity but I guess uh, small capacities like 4 GB 8 GB uh, should be fairly supported we also tried some gaming on the Q1200 we basically tried testing Fruit Ninja and Asphalt 8 and it uh, lags just slight bit on both the games but not annoying really um, the lag is visible on Fruit Ninja but not that visible on Asphalt 8 So now should you get the uh, Zolo Q1200 uh, well it costs twelve and a half thousand and the dreaded thing is that it's just one thousand less than the Xiaomi Mi3 which comes with mighty specs at such a low price it comes with a Snapdragon 800 chip chip and this guy has a much lower MediaTek quad-core processor and um, um, I mean uh, you know both of them has uh, have metal bodies but that guy is much lighter than this one even the camera there is 13 MP almost in every aspect Xiaomi Mi3 wins you also have um, the Moto G here really the Moto G was reigning king uh, in this price segment 12 to 15 K now that the Mi3 came the Mi3 kind of trumps the Moto G but Moto G still is a very very formidable player now that uh, has a much smaller screen than screen than this but it runs on Android KitKat so which is a much newer version of Android uh, once this guy gets upgraded to Android then things will become much easier but then at this price point um, the people really look for value for money the Q1200 definitely uh, has a very good build quality and design and uh, well apart from that uh, we don't see many other features for which you can recommend this phone the camera is just about okay everything the user interface is also okay there's nothing special to write home about um, the gesture and voice controls are impressive and they are um, they are uh, not buggy most of the time they work just about okay so the you um, so the devices two USBs the design and build quality metal build quality and those gestures and void control features they work pretty well but apart from that there's not much to talk about the uh, Zolo 12 Q1200 if you like this video please hit the like button ask anything related to this phone and we'll try to answer them all Please subscribe to our channel for more such awesome content in future. Thank you.